Hello everybody, and welcome back. Thank you ever so very much for joining me. I'm Count Christo, and it is my delight to tell you that I and Twitch chat have agreed on a new expansion target. There was a vote between Sudan, Aden, and um, Mesopotamia, and Mesopotamia was selected handily. Super majority for Mesopotamia. And uh, so we're going to need to fight the Jalirids. The Jalirids have some allies. These guys are inconsequential, but Bani Rassi has a few men. So I will be deploying one of my armies down to Mecca uh, in case Bani Rassi makes any moves. Mecca, because it has the force limit to support our large army. Good stuff. Obviously, we'll leave these guys here meanwhile just to deal with them. Um, right, so what are we going to take from these guys? Probably... This, I imagine, in the first war. It's going to be a bit of a noodly appendage war. Uh, in the fullness of time, of course, we will take the um, the Mesopotamian road, as it will be known, which will be these provinces. Not that one. Um, this will be one way in which communication efficiency can get to the uh, to Iran, to Persia. Um, should be good, should be good. Uh Oh, I should, maybe I should be full coring some of this. I don't know. We're not going to get... Well, we actually probably will get full cores here in the fullness of time. Because... I know I'm getting distracted, but because we're... Um, it's going to culture convert eventually. And once it's culture converted, it can give us free cores. In other news, we have got the Enlightenment spreading from uh, Istanbul, which is great. It is also spreading down to Cairo. Uh, not very quickly, which is a shame. Uh, oh, it's spreading from center of trade, not from um, not from the, the the continental art and culture center. I imagine once it recalculates, it will transfer from the continental art and culture here down to the continental down there. I'm very glad that even though we haven't managed to overtake France in population yet, in in terms of our capitals, we have managed to. Um, overtake them well hang on their urban gravity is 530 we've overtaken them in urban gravity i think yeah oh baby 535 we're ahead of them and with our new building we're going to overtake them even more nice this war against the Jalirids is going to be much less manpower expensive which is good because that unfortunate event we got is uh has tanked our ability to gain manpower they accept our reforms not not even like, begrudgingly accept. They just actually straight up accepted them. Okay. <laughs> nice. No stab hit for that. Um, Burgers, I gave you a privilege as well, right? Yeah, the expansion of shipbuilding privileges. Which, honestly, I'm... Am I happy with them having it? It does increase our corruption. How much, um... What's, what's the corru corru corruption equilibrium calculation? I think it's every plus one corruption gives you plus 20. Yeah, that's right. So plus if plus one plus one corruption a year gives you a trending equilibrium of twenty, then plus zero point zero one gives you a trending equilibrium of point two percent. So the point zero two we're currently getting from the burgers gives us point two percent more corruption. You know what? That's not that bad. <laughs> I think we can handle point two corruption. Let's send these guys over to deal with that. Don't want our Serbians. And yes, the other thing that's going to start in this one, it's Serbia. You are a noble and a loyal vassal. Your armies have fought for us, most recently in Pisa. You have done great things at fending off the Hungarians. See this not as a loss of your independence, but as a brother welcoming you with open arms into the fold. We're going to begin the process of annexing Serbia into our nation. We need to work on conversion, because annexing Serbia is obviously going to lower our uh, religious unity. Meanwhile, Granada, I need to ally you. Let's stop spying on Pisa, because we can definitely get our claim now. We need to ally Granada before they get wiped off the face of the earth, and then we're going to work on trying to vassalize them, which they must accept, surely. What? Why is the distance between borders the same? Oh, right, I didn't take this province in that war. Okay, well, that's fine. We can just be allied to them for a while. We will ally them, but I will 
obviously not join your offensive wars, don't be silly. <laughs> and we can take tech again, but we don't want to. Global settler increases don't matter. And yeah, Serbia, they're not going away in a hurry. They're going to be around for the next, uh, you know, 17, sorry, 15 years. But uh, Serbia did great work. They were the bulwark against the Hungarians. There's no, there's no hard feelings between us and Serbia by any means. Just in the same way that we respect the various Beyliks and uh, that we have integrated, the, the Serbians are, are noble and, and long-term allies. So I wonder if the communication efficiency has been recalculated in Corsica. Let's take a look. <laughs> we shaved one day off. Amazing. <laughs> That's less impressive than I was hoping. <laughs> it's funny though. Oh, nice. There's actually uh, there's irrigations up here. All right. Uh, these ones can't core yet. Anything else we need to be building? I suppose we should start building, uh, yeah, port here. Because they don't have a, a level two port, and this is one. Of, this is one of the relay ports. It's going to go here, then in here. Well, actually, it might not. It might go here and then skip to Messina in the fullness of time. Come into, uh, yeah, come into Messina here. But uh, for now, it's going to go here and then in here. This one is not going to be a relay port because Palermo will be our one in this region. So we don't need to worry about that. But here, definitely needs it. Liberate the Faithful regained against Jalirids. Hey, what amazing timing. Hey, Jalirids, you've, you, you just screwed up big time. <laughs> Rebels cross the border. I told you they were going to go here next. I'm psychic. All right, people are getting in position. They've landed. Let's just wipe out these rebels for our noble ally of Serbia. Not even ally, not even subject, our friend. Dung, dung, dung. And yes, it's fine, so the separatists. Occupy my land, I'll, I'll boot you out in time. You lot, I don't know why so many of you have to be in port to repair. I don't know why it doesn't automatically split off people to repair when you're not at war. But oh well. So now these guys are out and about. Let's see how much spoils of war are we able to get. 6.4 from the Adriatic is great, considering we've somehow lost no money by taking them out of the Aegean. And uh, from the Tyrrhenian, oh baby, 8.8 .8 for ducats a month being ripped from the Italian dogs that are undeserving the trade money that they are stealing from the east. That's my silk, god darn it. You can't have it. Military divided. Uh, we must always attack. Of course. It's one of those events that just shouldn't fire. We should just give you the bonus. <laughs> I know that's not a popular opinion, but uh, I think many, many events in EU4, when there is a good answer and a dumb answer, just give me the good answer. There are circumstances where you want the quote-unquote dumb answer. Um, so it's, you know, it's not the dumb answer. Because there are circumstances where you want it, but... That's so rare. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. That's a great idea, actually, that, that chat is just mentioning. What should we call this region once it's integrated into the Turkish Empire? It should get some kind of special name. And what should that be? Like the, the Northern Bulwark, or the, the Serbian Protectorate, Raskia. What is what does Raskia mean? Is it just Serbia but with Ra at the beginning? <laughs> does that mean oh Little Turkey? I like that. Little Turkey is good. It's a big part of the region. Yeah, but it needs to be like a name that. Oh my God! Is this event again? Where did it fire for? Yeah, fired for Egyptians and Bulgarians, which is dumb and shouldn't happen. So I'm going to check which which event it is. Let me just uh, pause the recording for you. Two. All right, we're back. The event is gone. So last time the event fired, we changed the mean time to happen to a million years. So I think it just fired. The odds of it firing 
in a 500,000 year period of 50% and we had it fire. <laughs> it's dumb because it causes simultaneous revolts in multiple cultures, which makes no sense. So we've killed it. Moving on. <clears throat> no, the game, you can, you can alter event code without reloading the game. I mean, without closing the game. Because the event code is pulled on pulses. Not con it's not continuously loaded. Infiltration of Sicily. Hmm, nice. That's handy. That's very handy. Give me a claim on... Um, on Palermo. And then I think I'll keep spying on them, actually, to get a claim on Messina as well. Nice. Got to make sure we don't get into a big looting war when we go towards Sicily. Hey, France. Break your lives with Hungary. Hey, Hungary. Break your lives with France. Gets. <laughs> uh, all right. Where's my transports? Here they go. Manpower low happened to us at 71,000. You love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. Uh, construction. Workshop. What are we building? Like, What are we saving money for? Just embracing the institution? We won't be able to embrace the institution until 35. And when we do embrace it, it's going to cost about 4,000 ducats. We make about 150 ducats per month. 4,000 divided by 150 is 24. So we need to save for about three years. Two, two years, sorry. <laughs> Not three years. I was trying to say slightly higher than two, but I just went straight to three. Um... We've got to save for about two years. So we've got to start saving in, let's say, 32 to be safe. So we can still spend for now. Should we improve our education? No, because it's too high right now. I don't know why it's it's higher than it needs to be. Our annual state funding is, is very low, so I'm not too worried about it. But uh, like 43 is, is, you know... 3.7% higher than it needs to be to give us the current level of bonus. We could, I mean, let's let's try again. Advisors. It needs 720. Seven, 273. Right. If we increase it to 6. And then we decrease it down to exactly that. It needs an extra 200 ducats a year. Which all has to come from us. Let's do it. We're in the money right now. Tech is the problem. Let's do it. It's a lot of money. Don't get me wrong. But uh, I think that's okay. We need... All right, it's not currently applying our education multiplier. So it'll get better once that actually applies. But we've got 33 students not in university. But yes, state funding. Why is annual state... I don't understand. Why is annual state funding 500 ducats now? When the advisors said... Oh, no, that is right. That is right. Okay. Yeah, well, let's, let's try this. Um, so we're going to save up and we're going to pump more money into the education system. They can do things on their own. All right. Yeah, I mean, let's, let's try that. Let's try that. Hey, Palermo, do you have a... Uh, Big, big temple thing? You do, don't you? Yeah. Does Messina? You should build another one for me. That'll be handy. <laughs> okay. Uh, you guys. We are over force limit. But being over the force, force, naval force limit costs... Uh, well, okay, it is significant. Point four for being just too over the force limit is both harsh, but also yeah, significant enough that we, we really don't want to be over the force limit. So... Let's cut the galleys. We're clearly no longer in a position to be regularly threatened at war. At sea, rather. So the, the, the big ship we went with, where is he? He's here. He gives plus one trade plow per tra ship in fleet and plus 25% privateering efficiency. Plus one trade power is plus 33% trade power on our current ships. But then the plus privateering 
um, happens on top of that. So we'll keep him on privateering. Thank you for coming for my, my TED talk. Is that flagship named Constantinople's second regiment? Yes. <laughs> what should we name the flagship? This is a matter for discussion in chat and we can do a vote later. Uh, we don't need any more claims against the Pope. I'm tempted to keep spying on them just so we have the, the siege speed in 32 when we go to war with them again. Uh, they are fleeing to us. Should we give them money? Yes. All right, you are in position. Move down to Mecca, please. Uh, these guys need auto-transporting to here. Good. All right. Let's give the money to the education system, because the sooner we give it to them, the sooner it starts ticking up towards the, uh, the improved level. And I, I hate to see what how much they think they're missing. 6,000 ducats. One time endowment. Here you go. Have it all, baby. No problem. We're funding a lot per pupil. Alrighty. We are... Getting there in terms of admin point approaching the cap. So we may wish to... Oh no, where's this? Tayin. Okay, that shouldn't reach us. It might, but it might not. We, uh, we can hope we get lucky. So yeah, I had these guys go from here, just because I thought it would be faster to get people in position. If we, uh, if we let those guys wait and then we can kill these guys and transport them over. Which should be, uh, should be good. We'll see how we do this year about the, uh, the education trending. Do I want to revoke the lesser nobles one privilege? I probably don't. No, I probably don't. We should offer these guys cash again when we can, um, the lesser nobles, because we need to keep them going up. Stop locking up my advisor. This is the second time they've tried to lock her up. Let her be. Uh, is there anything else I want to be doing? Don't think so. No. We could... Uh, if we had an Inquisitor, we could try, try a, like, a wave of Orthodox conversion. Like a, a forced a pogrom against the, the Orthodox, basically. But A, it doesn't really fit with our, our current tolerance. And B, it would uh, it damages the provinces. You lose a lot of local wealth. You get the wealth, but you it's kind of like looting your own provinces. It's uh, it's not a good idea. Expansion of the royal bureaucracy. We have a chance to lose stability, but we get expanded royal bureaucracy until the death of our leader. He is currently 47. Limit your reforms or reduce the royal bureaucracy, which gives you stability for nothing. I do love money for nothing. We can't afford to lose. This is not worth the stability here. It takes so long to get stability in this game. It's a good modifier, don't get me wrong. 10% tech cost and 10% idea cost. It's really nice. But it's temporary. You know, he could die tomorrow. Let's take the stability. That should stabilize things a bit in Bulgaria for us. Why is Bulgaria so peeved again? Mostly the intolerance at the moment. Yeah, fair enough. That's honestly fair. <laughs> Can't really fault them on that one. Doom. All right. Wipe these guys out. With a bit of luck, they uh, they win, and Sardinia gets independ independence. France is at war with England, trying to humiliate rival. I suspect France is going to get humiliated, because they're not going to be able to cross the channel. <laughs> but we'll see. We shall see. Hath death not quenched his thirst? Is it that bad? I didn't look. It's severe where it started, but it's already down to moderate as it spreads. It's, I think we're... It's it's either not going to reach us or not going to be that bad when it reaches us. 
is my my suspicion. If you're not familiar, plagues, as they spread, get stronger or weaker depending on the ease with which they spread to another province. So they spread more easily to, to large cities, to places with large trade, to, to ports, things like that. Um, but when they when they spread easily, they get worse. And when they spread, when it's difficult for them to spread, they get less bad. The next version of MNT has a much more fully realized uh, plague and epidemic system, which is based on a much more realistic modeling of um, how plagues actually spread and, and grow. Which, as we have all become intimately familiar with over the last little while, is logarithmically. Uh, right, I didn't read this. 10% construction costs for the next 10 years. Oh, just in Constantinople. Or 50 admin power. I'll take the 50 admin power, please. Sure, we're building in Constantinople, but 15% construction cost is, like, that's going to save us 200 ducats on one building. But, uh... Yeah. All right, these guys are moving into position. Good stuff. Should we build? We should build some shipwrights in. Oh, the plague has come. Okay. How, where did it arrive and how bad is it? Probably either Cairo or Constantinople. Yeah, Constantinople and it's immediately passed over. Good. As I suspected. We should build some shipwrights out in cheap provinces and give ourselves crazy bonuses to naval force limit. That seems good. Why is it 5 here and 2.5 here? Oh, right, yeah. Got autonomy, obviously. Um, yeah, let's build, let's build these in low autonomy provinces where they're cheap because they don't cause almost any urbanization. Oh, they do have upkeep though, right? No? I thought these had upkeep. I swear they used to have upkeep. Can't look there. Huh. Maybe they have upkeep once you built them. But the roads show it like right on the on the thing. Yeah, yearly maintenance. Same for universities, I think. No, universities don't have maintenance. Yeah, I, I, I swear they used to have upkeep. Must be wrong. They have a timber upkeep. Oh okay. How are we doing on timber right now? Let's take a look. Timber management. Right now we have a uh, negative 13 timber, which is resulting in a large timber deficit, giving us 30% sh increased ship costs. Okay, that's pretty bad. <laughs> Let's not build those. <laughs> uh, the only way to increase timber production, I think, is to look for your wood provinces and then build canals in them, because that would increase the number of people and therefore the number of um, rural production. Um, so maybe we want to find a, a large timber province and then build a canal there. But I'm not sure if that would affect timber production, because I don't think... Tim I mean, timber production... It's not like it takes huge numbers of people. Trebizond seems like a good province, a good candidate. Gonna cost uh, 1,000 ducats. Local estate can give 50%. Manpower can do the other 50. Yeah, could spend some admin points on it. That seems fine. And pay the rest of ducats. Cool. Give me some uh, some canals there. And then also, I think I noticed we we'd we'd started building a road here. Yeah, we only have a little bit left. Let's spend manpower on this. That might have been 25%. No, it was, it was half. It was half. And didn't we also do that in Halib? No, Halib's full. You got any urban wealth for me? Any rural? We get 25% rural, but we shouldn't shouldn't take it because we'll... Well, no, we'll remember. We're building roads in Halib. Just remember that for me. Um, did we begin building large roads anywhere else? Like these two? There should be a way to say, and maybe there is, but what I want to do is see... Oh, hello, love. Give me one moment. What I want to do is see all the provinces where we've already started building roads. All right, so with the pivoting to road building rather than chip building, given our crippling timber shortage, 
uh, 30% chip costs. That's, <laughs> that's intense. Because if you're not familiar, um, ship costs affect maintenance. So our, our fleet maintenance will be increased by our, uh, our ship costs penalty. Anyway, in the next episode, we will go to war with Mesopotamia. And uh, we will yoink a whole load of their land. In fact, let's, let's declare the war now so we can take a look at the peace deal. I don't want to full call anyone. Um, well, do I want to full call you? How, who would you get call in if I full called you? No one significant. So yeah, let's full call Bani Rassi, just in case we end up wanting to take some stuff from them. And the war goal is Al-Zawar. How do you say that? Al-Zawar. Full call Bani Rassi. Confirm. We can move in slowly to begin with. And you guys, once these guys get called in, let's just, let's not waste any time. They don't have very many men, so we can, we can charge them. These guys are transporting over. And we'll just wait a month and see the, uh, the peace deal screen. And then we should be able to see, uh, how much time we're going to be able to take, which will be good. All right. And we can take Miltech ahead again, which is great, because that means we're going to be able to preserve our beautiful innovativeness. She is grand. You love to see it. And all that. We will heavily restrict looting, because this is all land, both here around Baghdad especially, but also down here uh, near Aden. It's all land that we want to take for ourselves in the fullness of time. Conversion's still being slow. They're hiring 3,000 men from Shamar. That'll make the difference, <laughs> Jaliarids. That'll make all the difference. Believe in yourself. Hire those three units to face the 100,000 Ottoman hordes. <laughs> They've movement locked, which means we will go grab them. Excellent. So, in this beast deal, we want to take these provinces. You can only take Sunni provinces in the beast deal, I believe. Wow, look how much we can take. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> We can probably do this. Like, that's a manageable peace deal right there. That's a manageable uh, coalition. So this is going to be a, a bigger war than I expected. It's a really good war goal. Against you. Could take this. Again, that's a manageable peace deal. Like, nobody cares about this. It's literally only annoying, like, themselves. So we'll probably do a separate piece and seize this lot. We won't be able to grant it to Hejaz, unfortunately. Um, which is really annoying. So what we'll have to do is do this and then steal these provinces. Baghdad is building a great edifice. Oh, that's really annoying. It's 61% complete. Well, we're not going to be, we're not going to wait for it to finish, though that would be optimal. Because um, that would be, that would take a long time. Um, so we're just going to say, oh, well, to that, basically. Yeah, we'll just stop building it once we take the province, I believe. Uh yeah, so what we need to do after this war is immediately go to war with Ifat and seize this province. Oh, no, that won't even help, will it? Uh, I guess we actually have to... Well, I can't believe this didn't occur to me. We'll have to just transfer one of these provinces to Hejaz in the peace deal and then give them the rest. Yeah. So we're basically we're going to take all of the Sunni land that is held by both the Jalayarids and Banu Rasi, which is great. Apart from anything else, it's, you know, it's nice loyal Sunni land, so it'll be easy to easy to hold. All right, thank you very much for watching YouTube. I will see you in the next episode for that war. Looking forward to it. Bye-bye.